Good morning. Cynthia sings classical, Cynthia Ganga soprano. I am here. It's 1122. I just got up. I got into a beautiful gown because beautiful gowns are for holidays and for beautiful gown days. And it's beautiful gown day today. It's pretty rainy out here today, but the leaves are still yellow and I love that. And the leaves are still kind of pink and red. And I love that. It's my favorite, favorite color time. And I have my wrap book. I found it in my boxes. I still have the boxes right here. You can see them a little bit on the side. Not all of them are emptied, but I'm getting there. Uh, getting back into the Edmonton Chopin. We'll look at that. We will look at the Well-Tempered Calabier by Bach. We will look at the piano etudes. And we will look first at technical requirements. Um, so they have changed the uh, the required for the uh, they the Royal Conservatory has changed the required pieces to all Canadian garbage. So things like Bach, things like Mozart, things like Beethoven, things like Mark Mononov, things like Tchaikovsky. Uh, yeah, they're all out and they're put in garbage in the grade one to eight curriculum. So you'll not know how to play unless you have a really good teacher. And then the grade nine actually incorporates classical Western music, um, which is unfortunate because we're not going to have competent pianists unless those pianists came from Europe and have a good background on what it actually takes to play classical Western music. Um, I like there being some jazz. There's Oscar Peterson in this. That's what I'm doing for one of my, uh, one of my fourth year, uh, sorry, my uh, list D pieces. Um, phenomenal composer. Uh, but a lot of this is just shit. And that seems to be the wokeness of the people who are like, let's not work on what actually builds technique. Uh, let's work on the idea that something that is really well respected shouldn't be well respected because it was respected in the past uh that i have a really big problem with because there's going to be a lot of idiots that can't play and they're going to have arcts and they're going to be teaching and then it's all going to be cesspool of garbage but whatever i'm not in charge so i'm just going to learn from someone who actually knows what they're doing my professor and I'm going to take this really seriously because I hate when people who are unqualified then become teachers. I've seen it a lot in a lot of things. I remember when um, I went up for my, it was like fifth or sixth lesson at uh, Cooking Lake Aviation in 2002, I started flying. And uh, my, my flight instructor came drunk like he was still drunk, not hungover, but drunk from the night before. And I was like, what the hell are you doing? And he was like, this is like the pilot's life. If you can't handle it, woman. And I was like 21, 22. And I was like, if you can't handle not being an alcoholic, you probably shouldn't be a pilot. That's really unsafe. Uh, but that was very par for the course 20 years ago. Uh, and then he taught, he actually got kicked out. He wasn't allowed to be a pilot anymore because he kept coming drunk to a uh, flight instructor school and being a teacher there for a long time. I think it took like two years for us. But anyway, um, today I'm going to start with technicals and I'm going to start with playing very slowly and working on the fingering because my teacher, my professor and I went very slowly through some of the Bach and it was very, very helpful. And it was very helpful to have my baby pinkies curved. And it was very helpful to be calm around someone looking over my shoulder, which still terrifies me. Uh, because there were really abusive teachers here in the 90s and they used to hit my hands and I didn't like it. I only went to her twice before I quit that. Uh, I wouldn't go and see her again because she literally hit me. She was in the university area. She was older, brown hair, maybe in her 50s or 60s in the 80s. She was a complete bitch. That's not okay. Do not let your kids be hit by someone who is supposed to be teaching them something. That's so repulsive. Um, 
but I was okay with my professor standing right here a little bit in front of me so not behind me because that behind me thing triggers me because that's how I was raped um, and so she stood by my side and uh, she just helped me to remember which fingers it was and wrote them down and so I'm going to practice a lot slower um, I think it's more important and I'm going to work on the memory part. So recalling memory is part of the skill of gaining memory in something is to try to quiz yourself. And even if you're wrong, it's okay to try to quiz yourself on what comes next. I can sing most of the songs now because they're in my head, which has taken two years. Uh, but I'm going to work on recall and I'm going to work on practicing and memorizing these pieces so that I can get them really, really, really well memorized for my exams in July, August of this year. And I can pass on to grade nine, which will be wonderful because then there's only one more grade and then the RCT and then I can teach. So let's start. Damn. C major four octaves.
Philharmonic Minor. Thank you. 
sesuatu. Thank you. 